praise God, praise God. I pray that you all are having a blessed day. Rarely do I ever, well, it's handheld, so do I do a live while traveling or whatever, but something was really on my heart and my soul. First of all, good morning, everybody. I pray that you are, first of all, you're blessed. If you're seeing this, you're blessed. If you're hearing this, you're blessed. I don't think people understand. You know, um, we had a, a family friend that passed, uh, went to his funeral, was it? Tuesday, went to his funeral Tuesday. He was 83 years young. But nevertheless, let me tell y'all something. That was just, um, whenever you, whenever I go to a funeral, that's just me. Um, I look at everybody. I look at, first of all, we all gonna go one day. This is about where you spend eternity. It's about how do you live? Because a lot of people, point blank, you acting like you're not going to die. <laughs> and then it's like, you acting like you don't care where you're going to go after you die. Well, you big and bad, okay? All right. Because my Bible says there is a heaven and hell. I know people don't want to hear that part. But I wanted to talk to you about returning back to God with a whole heart. With a whole heart. People, people of God, let me tell y'all something. There's a lot of strange things going on. No, let me tell you what's going on. It's almost the end. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but the truth is truth. It's almost the end. People don't want to hear that. You were in the last days. That's why it's so evil. That's why you see a spirit of lawlessness, selfishness, just hate, anger. Man, for no reason. Just, just wake up, man. That's a spirit. Somebody be a scribe for me this morning. That's a spirit. That is a spirit. And we want to play it off, but people are possessed. Oh, I'm going to say it this morning. Y'all don't want, oh, they have a the mental problem. Child, please stop playing with me. That's a demon. You heard me. That's a demon. Got time to play with y'all no more. But, but, you know, his name was Mr. Marshall. Sweet man. 83 years old. Every time I go to a funeral, I'm like, this is real. You better, you know, serve God for real. So many people serve God for money, honey, and funny. I've been saying that for years. Let me explain to y'all what I mean by that. Money, it seems like that's a we need it. We need it to survive. That's real. That's reality. But when you're greedy for it, when you do anything, when you sell out anybody, that's a whole different thing. God's not what he said. So money's not a sin. Let's get that straight. The love of money is a sin. Secondly, the funny abominations. I'm going to say it. Women with women, men with men. We don't want to touch us. Hold on. Hold on. Let me clarify myself. I love everybody. Don't get it twisted. However, then it goes for me to sin is sin. There's no big sin, no little sin. Sin is sin. All right? So I say, money, honey. Oh, honey. I'll just be with people. Oh, Lord. That's what he wanted me to take, too. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing that back around. Y'all just be with people just because y'all alone. They're not even ordained. Hear me, hear me this morning. Please hear my heart and my spirit. They're sending people. Women too, I can't. Too many to count. And I just, you know, I'm a with you. I see why God chose me because, you know, I would like to say, y'all, I'm just so holy. I don't, I am, I'm something else. I love the Lord. I love my brothers and sisters. But I'm not the one you want to test. Because I don't know what, I don't know what day. <laughs> I'm saying, Jesus, keep me near the cross. <laughs> So y'all know what I'm saying when I say it. In this season, God wants you to have a whole heart. He say, worship me with all your might, your body, your heart, and your soul, everybody. This stuff is so real, y'all. Don't let the things of this world take you away from God, people of God. Please don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Don't let money come between you and God, honey, or funny. Don't let people come between you and God. Just happened, so I just left out the neighborhood, right? I promise you. And, a, and 
I don't care what email or whatever. I know the gift I have is very strong. That's why people get offended very strong. Trust me. And it's getting stronger. The purer you are, and that's anybody. I want you to understand. It's not just being a prophet. When you are a true child of God and you're pure, and they say perfect, but pure, you ain't touching an unclean thing. Honey, God will tell you everything. And before I left, he said, watch out. And I'll be doggone if a car didn't almost hit me. I just smiled. The old dad, I da, oh, you know I'd have been. I'd have been telling them I'd have been doing, I'd have been, I'd have been acting gangster for real. What's up? What's up? I just smiled. Fool, stop. Just stop. So, anywho, what I'm saying is that you have to have a, a, a whole heart for God in this hour. You know, God wants us, God wants us to, God hear what we don't hear. God see what we don't see. God know what we don't know. You understand me? So in this hour, you have to truly, truly, truly be led by the Spirit of God. I'm telling you, and this is a thus said the Lord. I'll write the title later or whatever, but well, give God your whole heart. He said, worship me with your whole heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. God see what we don't see, you know what we don't know, and God said, I'll tell you. The desire of abundant enemies. What does that mean? I'll let you know what they're planning. I'll let you know how they're planning. I'll tell you the secrets to go around. I'll tell you how to, the instructions. A lot of people are stuck because you're not being instructed by God. I'm telling you. Oh, hold on. Let me know. I got to keep it that way. I know the sun is real bright or whatever. It's a beautiful day. But I'm telling you right now, we got to do things in decent and in order, y'all. Just in peace and in order. We really do. Because the enemy is always plotting and planning. I could tell y'all so much stuff in the last two days, but I don't, I don't have time for that. I, I, I would not give the. Don't stop giving the enemy glory. Somebody be a scribe for me. Stop giving the enemy glory. And let me tell you something. Everybody's not going to be for you. I don't know who's pulling on me. But since you want to pull it, and there it is. Everybody's not going to be for you. And most of the time, it's, it's. Okay, we want our family and friends and. Things and people that we know to support us or the man, that's not gonna happen all the time because most of them jealous. There it is. I don't play. They don't mean to be, they just, you know, basically when it's their turn. Let me tell you how you should live your life. Yeah, I'm saying it like that. And I had to learn that. When I see other people getting blessed, and sometimes you do be like, okay, God, I ain't jealous, but what's up, you know? And that's exactly be happy for them. Say, my turn coming, God. God watches the way we act with each other, what we say, what we do. He watches the matters of the heart. Somebody write that. The matters of the heart. God watches us in every capacity. How we relate to each other, what we say, what we do. I was listening to James, and it says, Man have tamed everything in this world but the tongue. Isn't that the truth? Get mad. Get mad. Let mad day come. You will be saying some things that you, and then you have to repent later. So I've learned to, James 1.19, be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. But uh, I'm going to get bone off of here so I can really focus. Um, I'm telling you, y'all, so much coming. We better be prepared. It's time to get strong in the Lord. It's time to get in His Word like never before. Today is the 10th, 11th day of the fast. Today is the 11th day of the fast. So those that are on the fast, God bless you. Let's let's finish strong, you know. Um, we're not just fasting just to fast. We're fasting for strength. We're fasting for wisdom, discernment, power from the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Power from on high. So, um, yeah. It's all I want to get up on here and say. I may get up on here. I've just been, man, I've been, like, I helped my mentor out last night. Y'all, oh, my God. I don't know how many hours. She was doing some fruitcakes, and I want to learn. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to be a lifetime learner. I just love to learn. And, honey, I don't know how many hours it took. I, I know I left her house about 2 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, my God, this is, I mean, she takes her time and do it, too. And I was so honored that she gave me the recipe. And so I said that to say, lately God just been really having me do. Like I'm always going, you know. And I know I know this is training for something that's uh, that's coming. So as a matter of fact, let me just say that's why I wear my brand a lot. Fierce comeback. 
you better have a fierce comeback in your spirit these days because the enemy is trying to stop you to kick it all this over here. People be in a rush and ain't going nowhere. But um, I'll get back on here later, y'all. I just want to really just give a word, just just be encouraged, people of God. I know it's not always easy. And look, sometimes people telling you to be encouraged, you go on through, you be like, man, I want to hear that. I want to break through. I need some money. I, I, I need some this. I need that. I, you know, I get it. I get it. Keep holding on. Keep praying. Stand strong. Stand flat-footed. Don't be weak. Not in this hour. Don't be weak. I'm telling you. I know I'm not speaking the proper English, but you, you get me. Don't be weak. Okay? Play crazy if you want. The devil's not playing. He's taking people out of here. Let me tell you about that fool. That fool know he got a short time. So he's trying to, you know, he's like, I know I'm going in the pits of hell. I'm trying to take everybody with me. Y'all better write in the car. I ain't going. I'm going with that fool. I ain't going to hell. I like barbecue, but I ain't trying to be barbecue. Go ahead, Sean. So that's it. So God bless you. God keep you. Just be strong, bro. Seriously. Watch how you treat people. Stop stop being ugly with people. And think before you speak. When you get let me tell you something. I had to learn this. Everything I tell y'all, I had to learn. I'm not just acting like, oh, I arrived. I'm still learning. But let me tell you something. When you get hurt or anger or angry or whatever the case may be, don't talk. You will say things you don't mean. And remember that we're being held about, we're held accountable for every word that we say and read your Bible. Learn to be slow to slow to speak. Learn to calm down because sometimes it's not what it what it seems or sounds like. But I noticed lately everybody just I mean quick, just off. There it is. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, write it back. The spirit of office. Somebody write that for me. That's it, the spirit of offense. Everybody get what you're getting offended for. Everything. Man, they like to show off all that foolishness. But y'all, there's a lot of traffic, so I'm getting ready to get up off of here. But I just wanted to give y'all a quick word, a word of encouragement. Be strong in the Lord. God loves you. I know sometimes it don't feel like it. But let's be real. Sometimes you, you really want to say, God, you take it too long. I'm a hand to the No, 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 don't do that. Let go and let go. And I know it's cliche to some, but it's real. Let go and let God. All right, you guys, I got to watch these people because uh, it's some unusual activity. So, you know, always trying to do some foolish stuff. All right, y'all, y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. <clears throat> yeah. End time soldiers. What? I thought you knew. Save the best for less. You're not playing. And neither should we. All right, have a blessed day, everyone.